If you're looking for an extra way to supplement your income through day trading with options with a small account for a monthly income, this is the video for you. I'm going to be talking about the Trade UI platform and just some of its features that are offered. And you can check it out for yourself in the description below. If you don't want to watch the whole video, it'll be right there. You can try it out. Uh, just follow the link there, get free access, and see if you like it. But uh, just jumping right into it here, pretty straightforward. The Trade UI platform focuses on options trading, whereas you might have other tools that focus on other things. But right now, it's focused on options trading. There will be other strategies mixed in, but the main purpose will be for the benefit of trading options, day trading, scalping, swing trading, and others coming up here in the future. But this is just some of the features so far here. You have the different color coding here. You got red, green, and purple. Now, what does this mean? Red means that it's overwhelmingly bearish on the amount of money spent on that. You got the green here that's overwhelmingly bullish. You got like a purple bluish, which is basically like a mixed sweep, not necessarily a clear direction. These are pretty straightforward. And you have the numbers there kind of overlaying just how overwhelmingly bearish or bullish it might be and then of course you can see below here that you can see different things here let me show you here you got the uh, timestamp here you got the ticker you got the strike price you got the expiration days to expiration you got the spot place which is basically where they bought it how much they invested in that particular sweep the expected move percentage you got a rough rating and strength based on that position you have contracts that were taken out in the open interest and of course getting cut up there but the sweep quantity there as well and you can choose from different formats here I'll show you uh, just the list format if you want to like if you don't quite like all that reading and you wanted something a little bit more straightforward show that to you guys here get a little list breakdown pretty simple as you can see here it shows different strikes and all that information all congested into one thing so if you don't like reading through the different breakdowns here and you wanted something a little bit more simple this is sort of like you'd see on Thinkorswim or something like that. If you're familiar with that broker, that it comes in a list format rather than little drop-down columns, which can get kind of confusing. And as you can see here, pretty straightforward, simple, that you could see where it was from the puts at the bid or calls at the bid, puts at the ask, so-and-so, and just, you know, rough sweeps here. Like this one's an interesting one for end of the day from AAL airline stock here, American Airlines. As you can see here, 3,500 and 3,430 open interest. Kind of a bearish sweep. But just to give you an idea, just from looking at these sweeps here, and you went over the color coding with you guys here, something else you can do with this trading tool currently is basically you can choose between ETFs and stocks. You can choose a minimum order. So obviously, you don't want to focus too much on these smaller order. It's not really going to help you very much because there's a lot of little sweeps that come in that might be hedges or so and so and so forth. You want to focus on a bigger order. You want to focus on a shorter term expiration because some of these longer out ones could be sweeps for hedging, you know, not necessarily conviction for the next day. You're choosing one, you want to choose one maybe a week or two away, maybe a month or two, just to give a better idea of what the direction is likely going to be on the shorter term term and you can sort out pretty much any ticker you can do ticker comparisons if you'd want and that's pretty much all i was going to cover on this aspect here a little drop down here for current live prices he has a lot of features coming up here but these were just some of the ones i wanted to cover and just to get right into it a little bit further here just some of these sweeps that were pointed out i'll show you guys here uh, JPM uh, this was around Easter holiday as you can see here they had a sweep that overwhelmed the ask uh, for the open interest and as you can see right after that happened JPM ran up all day long then of course you had uh, basically a spy here with the puts again same thing dropped down after the puts came in and then he kind of crumbled down and fell through the rest of the 
day there for that put. As you can see, just another SPY put, but this one's a little bit different, just as another example from a different perspective. As you can see here at the very bottom of the day, they had two rather large asks indicating that they're likely selling to cover their position and profiting on that because they didn't really overwhelm the open interest. It wasn't a new position. It was rather them trimming their old one from a previous point. And then you have CMCSA. Uh, as you can see here, they had two very bearish sweeps at 1023, ironically at the very peak of the day. And then, of course, it dumps right after that. Just to give you guys an idea, you have Amazon here pretty much same kind of concept here. They had the sweep at 10, 10 in the morning. A massive call sweep here. 1.5 million on a shorter term expiration. As you can see here, the sweep came out. And then I, I don't know if you guys are really following Amazon at this point. But the very next day, Amazon went even higher beyond that sweep. So ended up going very deep in the money. As you can see here, this is another one here. This one kind of focuses on two aspects. Similar to the SPY one there that you have IWM overwhelming the open interest with a huge amount of volume. And then you have a Friday expiration one here as well. Both very bearish conviction. And of course, you can see where I pinpointed the two areas. So they were already hedging for the basic bounce out to dump down the market the rest of the way there for IWM, for the Russell's index. And then you have the Friday sweeps here. This was... Uh, Interesting that this was way earlier in the week that these sweeps came out. They came out at 4.15. And then on the 17th, you can see that they finally hit the 31 strike that they were focusing on for the T calls. So they ended up being in profit. This took them a little bit longer than usual. The smaller ticker, I noticed, it doesn't necessarily happen on the same day. But for the most part, it usually does. Once again, another calls example here from Smile Direct Club. This was just an overnight if you held, it was all bullish call sweeps. There wasn't anything bearish about it. And then, of course, the next day it jumps up because there wasn't really any bearish sentiment at all. All the call sweeps are just pretty much straightforward. You know, some of these plays are pretty obvious. Go back to the color coding thing that I was talking about earlier that you can just simply use the color coding and play sweeps just based on that. Obviously, you'd want a bigger conviction with bigger positions and a short-term plays this is just spy here or just another play here that uh basically in a 24-hour span it doubled and went 100 percent return on investment and that's all the different examples that i was going to show in this video here but um you know it's pretty straightforward you follow the sweeps and you can make profits from it if you want to check out tradeui.com the description in the description below you can check out the link and you can find more information about those sweeps and that's about all I was going to cover in this video. So thank you for listening in and make sure to check out Trade UI below. And there's a lot of fun upcoming features. Uh, plus uh, you'll have these uh, SMS notifications and all these unique trading strategies coming into it. And you can find out all about that in the description below in the link. And you can check out Discord if you want more information about options trading and you want to talk to other live traders for free. It's all going to be in the description below. So see you later and have a nice day.